Okay, I'm going to go over how to read uh, vernier caliper. Here's our caliper, and the first thing we need is a, uh, a hint about what all of these numbers mean, and the hint is going to be given to us on the instrument itself. Here it's telling us that it's reading to the one thousandths of an inch. Uh, if we get an uh, overview of it here, we see that this is zero, one inch, two inch, three inches. We should be able to kind of recognize that from the instrument itself, uh, see what's about an inch, uh, and that should be marked on there. Then what we're actually reading from is this index where the bottom scale here reads zero. This part will slide back and forth on the instrument, and what we do is we read from where the index is. So uh, here's zero inches and here's one inch, and you see it's divided up into ten equal parts. So these are tenths of an inch. So this is point one, point two, point three. Uh, so our answer here, we already know it's less than an inch, so it's going to be zero point four and then something. Okay, we still have two more decimal places to go, uh, and that's going to come from how far it is between the four and the five. Now notice that between the four and the five on here, this is point four and point five, there is a divider in the middle, so that divider is half of this. So if the distance from four to five is point one, this is point oh five. Uh, so uh, this is divided into fifty thousandths of an inch. Here they are down here, but the trouble is where do you read on this scale? Well, let's look. It's toward the toward the back part of this. It's toward the halfway mark. So it's going to be toward the end of this scale. And what we're looking for on here is where the, the tick marks line up exactly. And you can see that they're getting closer in here, closer, and it looks like right there they're lined up, and that's at 40, 41, 42, at 43. So the reading is 43. And notice we're less than the halfway mark here. So our answer is 3.443. Uh, like that. Okay, so let's, let's examine it again. It's 0.4, and then we see that we're toward the end of this mark, so we'll go to the end of our vernier, vernier scale and look for where it starts to line up, and it lines up at 40, 41, 42, 43. Okay. Now, what happens if we're on the other side of that halfway mark? Let's move our caliper. Let's open it up. Let's have another reading here. Okay, there we are. We're beyond that. So our index says that we're still less than an inch between 0 and 1, and now we're between 6 and 7, but we're beyond the halfway mark. So it's going to be 0.6 is our first um, decimal place. Now our next two decimal places, uh, we're going to take 0.65 because this is beyond the halfway mark, and this is 05, so it's 0.65. And to that, we're going to add what the vernier scale reads. And it's right in the middle of this small, right between these two tick marks, so it's going to be right in the middle of our vernier scale. And there it looks like it's right there at the 25. So we'll add to the 6, 5, 25. And our answer will be 0.675. Now where did that come from? 0.6 because these are the, the, the tenths place, 1, 2, 3, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So it's between 0 0.6 and 0 0.7. It's greater than 0 0.65. And this vernier scale reads only uh, 50 thousandths. So we add the reading on this scale to what we read directly off of this. So we read 0 0.65 off of this, and we add 0 0.025 to that from this vernier scale. Don't worry about the numbers up here, just worry about where the lines meet up. So for this one it's point six, point six five plus point two oh two five equals point six seven five.